basically everything that I do, I get ballooned, which means Ed comes and takes it apart. We might have a little ballooning going on. First rock from the waterfall, Ed? No. Not yet. All right, never mind. No, not yet. Not Forget yet. what I just said. I do want to talk to the one person that actually matters here that is going to enjoy the pond the most. What do you think? Yeah? I think he likes it. Waterfall will be built shortly here. We're gonna bring it in right off of this corner here. Once we get that waterfall started, we're gonna go ahead and start digging that basin. We got a couple more rocks to throw in here, and then it's waterfall building time, baby. Can't wait for that. Pond is rocked in, time to wash them down. While Greg's taking care of the pond, the rest of us are working on edges. It's, we're starting to build that waterfall as well. So it's not gonna be long before we can actually start filling this thing up and really get a look at what we're gonna have for a pond over here at Blake's. Blake, how are you feeling about the pond right now, buddy? It is looking insane. Is it anything what you expected? Not really. I drew it out two times with my buddy Dylan and put it on videos already. And then it switched up like five times already, but it's looking really cool. I'm happy I got the bridge going along too though. We are getting close guys. So we probably have a few more hours of putting rocks in. We're gonna get that wetland dug up top there. And as soon as Greg's done washing, <laughs> this thing can get filled with water. We just finished up lunch, officially, unofficially, not sponsored by Chick-fil-A, and it was so good. <laughs> Can't get enough of that stuff. But we are digging the wetland, as you can see behind me. So Juan is up there, he's getting everything excavated. In just a little bit of time, we are gonna have these blocks in snorkel centipede, get our pulling hooked up, and we are gonna be so close to having a fully functioning pond today. I think what it's gonna come down to is we're gonna be waiting on water. So with that being said, I'm gonna let Juan take it away for a little bit, get some digging done, and we will be back in just a little bit. All right, so we just got the wetland completely excavated. All we have left is to put the components in, mark those out, get those excavated. I do have someone here that can tell you a lot more about the wetland filtration system though. So let me turn this around and introduce you for the seventh time today, Ed the Pond Professor. All right. So we're getting ready to do the excavation for this. So what we're trying to do here is we're gonna dig this down so the top of this is level with the, uh, the current grade. So the idea behind all this is we're trying to slow water down and we're gonna allow the sedimentation process to occur. So we have to do that in certain stages. Water is going to come in on the one end, very fast moving water. We're going to slow it down. Heavy sediments will build up in the bottom of this. The water then is going to go through all those aquabots. That's going to allow the water to spread out evenly across the entire bottom. That will allow sediments like the really, really fine organic stuff to settle out. And the key to all this is we don't want any of that gunk, any of the sediments and stuff going up into the gravel bed because it's going to clog it up. So we want to allow all that stuff to settle out down in the bottom. Then we're going to have relatively clean water flowing up through the gravel media. Gravel media is going to be come home to all the microorganisms and those organisms are gonna are gonna grow and they're gonna thrive and they're gonna turn this entire area into their new home and they will populate literally every square inch of the entire filter bed that's gonna detoxify the water to give Blake the desired water quality for whatever he happens to put inside of here so if you guys didn't catch that that wetland filtration system is gonna be the heart of this pond it's gonna keep it crystal clear for years keep the water quality very very high and clarity very very high because we don't know what kind of animals are gonna be in this whether it be otters or fish or avian species or anything like that that wetland filtration system is definitely big enough to handle anything that Blake is gonna throw at this thing so we are making sure this thing is tip to tip in tip top shape say that ten times fast tip tip top shape tip to tip tip top shape tip to tip tip top shape rocking and rolling did I also mention we have water going in the pond booyah all right guys so excavation is done for the wetland filter but it kicked our butt. This thing took way longer than we expected it to. There was a bunch of cap rock down at the bottom of the hole, as well as some old stumps from some trees. But it is done now. We're about to throw fabric in. We tested our centipede, our snorkel. We're just finishing up, laying down a base layer of sand so that all of our blocks are perfectly level. Juan, you got anything to say? Of course not. It is getting pretty hot, but we are basically gonna push through until it's dark, maybe a little bit after dark because our machine gets picked up tomorrow. So we really don't have a choice.
We are going on a hunt for logs. All right guys, so it is the end of day two. Beers are out, you can tell the day's over. We got a heck of a lot done. Matt actually got a heck of a nice tan, if you want to call it that. <laughs> In all fairness, he was working his butt off today. We all were, and we did get a lot done. I'm gonna flip this around, show you where we are at. Check it out guys, the pond is almost full of water. That's a good feeling at the end of only day two. All the rocks are in the pond. We started the waterfall and the wetland is almost all the way complete. We just have a few more rocks to pop in there and do some edges and we are basically there. With that being said, we're gonna enjoy our couple cervezas that we have after a hard day, very well earned by everybody. I think that's it for day two. We'll catch you guys in the morning. All right guys, so it's day three out here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch and just Juan and I right now. <laughs> the rest of the guys are over at Raw Fishing Build trying to finish that up while we are here trying to finish this up and we are making good progress. The waterfall is started, which is the biggest thing for today and then finishing up all the little stuff like edges and whatnot. So we have just a couple rocks in here left, one more frame rock on that side and then this thing is gonna be just about wrapped up. We'll do some foaming, make sure our bog is all level and uh, water level is perfect in there and then we are gonna be able to start buttoning up that bog and then we are gonna be able to start buttoning up that wet infiltration area as well as all of our edges down here and we are about to get rocking and rolling. Just after lunch, we are wrapped up with the waterfall. Right now what we got going on, everybody's attacking the edges because I think within the next hour, we're gonna be able to get this thing fired up. All right guys, so this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. The pond is done, it's completely filled with water. I'm the last person here right now besides Blake and all the guys. We're just gonna fire this thing up and see what happens, all right? Here we go. It's coming together, man. All the water's starting to fill in all those little crevices Heck and yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, look at the back area, the whole pool now. What do you think, dude? I'm really happy with all the work you guys put into this pond, especially you and Ed. I mean, this is an absolute dream to be in front of this building. A lot of dreams coming true as well from you guys. So I don't even know what animals we put in here yet, but we'll figure out in the future. And you'll be the first one to see what we put inside this pond. So let's do it. So there you have it, guys. The one guy whose opinion really matters on this one, besides the animals that are going in here, which are ultimately the most important, this thing turned out absolutely awesome. <laughs> Right, guys so we're gonna go ahead and start over on the pump side this is where all that debris is gonna get drawn when these pumps are running there's two pumps in here two 4,000 to 8,000 gallon per hour pumps and that's gonna pull all this water this way recirculate it one of the pumps actually goes to circulation jets that are on the bottom of this pond so that will be able to handle any kind of debris or animal waste that will accrue in this pond so basically those jets are just gonna push everything this way and make sure everything stays super clear on the bottom obviously the waterfall is gonna push all that water on the top we also have our auto dose and ion gen system as always, as you guys can see, this pond is actually a perfect shape. It's about 30 feet long by about 15 feet across. All these nice natural edge treatments for all these logs. That looks perfect. I love the way that that log just sticks straight up in the air, almost like you would find it falling straight in nature. We have a deep section here. I know the water's a little cloudy, but that's okay because it will clear up in just a day or two. This is left exposed because this is gonna be a bridge that Blake is gonna build right here. So he'll have a bridge spanning that and then he'll go ahead and fill in with rocks around that. I do have one more 
more circulation jet right here. You can kind of see that top water action right there. See how that water is just moving in a circular motion and making sure all that water gets pushed that way. Absolutely perfect. Then the coup de gras, obviously the waterfall turned out absolutely perfect. Even managed to pull off a little secret waterfall here. The sound is just absolutely killer. It's gonna be perfect for Blake sitting out here with all of his animals. Super, super great sound. Drowns out any noise that's around here. Obviously this is the huge wetland filtration area that we put in. We have about six inches of standing water in here. Again, another log edge treatment there. Absolutely looks stunning. The heart of this all obviously is the aqua blocks and the centipede underneath and then all the gravel. It's almost like its own upper pooling area up here. It looks absolutely incredible. Again, I can't be more proud of the guys and you have to say thanks to Blake for having us out, giving us the opportunity to build something so cool for his animals that he cares so much about. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do. Blake's Exotic Ranch on YouTube. Unfortunately, we do have to leave a bare dirt for right now or sand because we're in Florida. But Blake is gonna do a great job of planting this thing up, making sure everything looks perfect. And with that one, I think that is a wrap. We will catch you guys on the next one.